Good morning. It's Saturday morning. Actually, hey Google, what's the time and date? It is 6.54 a.m., the 12th of May, 2018. Hey Google, volume level 50%. Hey Google, tell us a joke. What do sharks say when something rad happens? Jawsome. Jawsome. That's cute. That's very cute, Google. Thank you very much. Good morning, my fellow Homo erectus Homer, Homo sapiens. That, that covers everybody that stands up on two legs. So, that takes care of that. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Had to say it, huh? <clears throat> anyway, nice day here in Capitan, New Mexico at the RB Park here. Mama Bear, uh, very quiet last night. I've only been here two nights. And I have to say... Friday night, there were no party and nothing, so I mean, it was just nice, and I walked to the grocery store yesterday and got me some groceries and checked my mail, walked uh, 50 yards or whatever it is to get check my mail, and uh, yeah, I like it. <clears throat> walked around the town, didn't even start my truck, haven't started my truck in two days, <clears throat> so that's pretty good. Anyway, Bob Rundle, hey, it's my, hey Google. What's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The current temperature in Bangor is 49. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Capitan, New Mexico? In Capitan, it's currently 59. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Kingsland, Texas? In Kingsland, it's currently 72. Wow, a little warm there in Kingsland. It's already starting to get hot in Texas. I've had I've talked to some people there and. Yeah, it's uh, getting a little warmish. But anyway, <clears throat> anyway, Bob Rundy, R U N D E, says, What is the monthly charge here at this RV park? It's $185 a month. I don't know the daily or weekly rate, plus 15 cents per kilowatt hour for electricity. A hot Limited on the refurbished uh, gimbal, which didn't work. Hot Limited, okay, now it's beer 30. Yep. <clears throat> Not now. Wanda Thurman, your videos are fine. Haven't been dizzy yet. LOL. Good. John Mayer, does New Mexico have a water quality issue? Uh, no. Well, I don't know. I, they probably do because they also have a water supply issue. You know, and so does so, do, so does a number of states. Uh, no, I don't know. It says, seems to be a recurring problem. It could be. All I know is the water here is fine. I double filter my drinking water and single filter the shower and everything else water. I've got one of those RV filters hooked up to the spigot and then I have a Brita pitcher, pitcher filter <clears throat> that I filter the water again for drinking and it's fine. I'm a sailor on the new RV park. The water may not stink anymore but I'm not sure you will keep your but I'm not sure you will keep your windows open with the dumpster on one side and the bathroom on the other but then again you won't have to cut any grass you know it's a crazy thing they only pick up the trash once a week and they haven't been here yet and uh the uh, as far and i haven't heard anybody making any noise at the dumpster anyway and as far as uh, i mean i've had the windows open all day long when since i've been here during i open the windows in the mornings and i close them about oh 2 p.m when it starts to warm up a little bit run the air conditioner till about 6 p.m when it starts to cool down and then i open them back up again and uh, that's the way it is. And as far as noise from the the uh, shower thing, uh, no one uses it. I've only seen one person use it. Of course, I'm not sitting here watching the shower either. <clears throat> anyway, thank you. So, But yeah, there's no noise. It's all in your mind. Rocomo 1, Rusty, we don't need no stinking gimbal. Ha <laughs> ha. No, we're not. We're not going to get a gimbal. I'm not going to fool with one. Why? It's just another piece of equipment and it's more stuff and I don't want it. So that's the end of the gimbal stuff. Uh, refurbished gimbal Dan Frenzel well might be a good stand for that windsock <laughs> yeah really $70 stand my new new RV park Annette Rogers I think it's perfect for you I love it clean easy and no upkeep yep no it's it's great it, they, they don't have it's all gravel they don't mow any grass they don't weed eat so you know they're not doing that all day long no it's it's really nice for me no dust no nothing Gregory Atkins, uh, comment call. The other place seemed more relaxing. This looks like 
a temporary parking lot. I used to live close to a post office grocery store library. Da, da, da. It was called it was called New York City. I don't know. It says too bad the other place didn't work out, but as long as there's peace and quiet, you should be set. I am. And you know, it's fine. I mean, as far as uh, it's fine for me. You know, the pl other place was okay, but the water stunk. And actually, for some reason, I like this better. I like I kind of like being around people for a change. I never see anybody here. You, you wouldn't even know there's anybody living in these RVs. I never see anybody outside. Never. I mean, I go walking around. I go uh, take a walk, come back. I never see anybody. I mean, they're, they're either not here or they're in a coma watching TV, which is fine with me. Uh, Mary the Candle Mom, what would an RVer do without duct tape? No kidding. LOL, great idea. That's something I did in my RV. I have also, I have also to get me that gadget you used for an oven yeah it's great that uh, that it's called a heat diffuser and it works I use it a lot uh, D McCarty uh, hope the water quality is better <laughs> it's a thousand times better I mean it's fine thank you D Jim Bo it's two words Jim Bo Yankees don't say hi people in the southeast say hi also if you say hi to a Yankee they look at your like you're growing horns and walk or drive away. I live in the country. If you drive down the highway in front of my house, I will wave. You should wave back. Okay, if I drive by your house, Jimbo, I'm going to wave at you, boy. Ron Bailey, <clears throat> it's going to be interesting in, gar in regards to the human interaction. Good luck and keep filming. I will. <clears throat> so far, so good. And you know, I don't have to be here. I mean, if it got if it, for some reason something aggravated me well then i just leave it's not not a big issue and you know i can go from here to silver city or i can go from here to anywhere i want to go so i'm certainly not stuck here and that's one of the pleasures of rving and I, I also something well i'll t talk about that later ryan hurt you are single-handedly the hardest working man on youtube thank you russ 10 pats on the back well, you know, it's it's actually fun for me. I mean, these other guys might be working, but I'm not. I mean, I'm just playing. Bill G, 1527, new hello, beginning idea. Gather around Rusty's Rangers for another episode of comment call, driving, mail call, etc. Just a thought, you're doing a fine job, roughly 15K sub soon. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. Yeah, thank you, Bill G, 1527. I'm just playing with the introduction. I don't really care what I say. You know, hello, guys. Good morning. You know, my sister said something about guys didn't include gals. Well, I thought guys was generic for guys and gals, but maybe I was wrong. <clears throat> Solo woman, uh, Will Hunt, if you kept the lady under the cover and could get a dark background behind her, then she would become the highlighted bright subject. Okay, thank you, Will. Appreciate your comment. Grandma Patty, my new new RV part, RV spot or whatever. If you turn your truck sideways, you can have privacy out your door. The only problem is they won't let me do that here. That they want me to park parallel. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm glad you have good water and other amenities. I hope you get some. I hope you get some get get away so i ho i hope you get some getaways to enjoy some scenery okay <clears throat> as a woman i would feel good staying in an rv in a place like that and it would be nice to have places to walk to i look forward to seeing how it works out for you me too <clears throat> but yeah it's okay fine uh super duet four i like your haircut rusty another hug again from texas well thank you super duet four uh donna mckee Sure like your new digs. Happy for you. Thank you. Me too. Yeah, it's okay, man. It's, it's fine here. I mean, there's, this is a 1,500 population town. This is a, nobody here, man. It's quiet. You know, you can walk. I mean, I walked last night uh, for exercise after I ate my meal. Not for exercise, but I always walk after every meal. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's just peaceful, man. There's nothing here so far. Rick and Amy Clark on refurbished gimbal. I'm one of those glass half full type of guys and I'm thinking you just got that one in a hundred that didn't work. Maybe it would have been worth another shot. I don't know much about gimbals, but they seem to be pretty good at image stabilization. Have a good night, Rusty. Yeah, 
Uh, I tried to call them. I tried their website and nothing. So there's no support apparently. Uh, crazy deal. I just it, it, I get a strange feeling when the number they put on their card for service is the number to Verizon. Okay, that was pretty cute, wasn't it? Uh, this is on comment call. Tammy Amaral, A-M-A-R-A-L. Amaral, I think. Rusty, I live in a small town in Washington State called Othello. And our gas is three twenty nine already. Good gosh. I went to town and from one day to another it was up ten cents. It is looking like we will be hitting over four dollars soon. Uh well you could. I mean you know, right you're sixty cents ahead of us here. It's two sixty nine in Rudoso. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to go over three dollars. So you know that'll put a little damper on these RVers, I guarantee you. Uh, Tom Wilson uh, says something about not a great spot, no view, too close to buildings, no trees, but it works, I guess. Well, Tom, uh, it, it works for me. Now, for you, apparently it wouldn't. So that's the way life is. But thank you anyway. Beverly Balius, the problem with all these cabins in, this is on the tiny homes, you can get a mobile home, triple the space for that same price. It should make them cheaper. Well, Beverly, you got two comments. You're probably not watching this anyway, but uh, contact Dirksen, Dirksen Portable Buildings, and they'll build it any way you want it. Okay, that's the whole purpose of that demo uh, unit, is to show you what, all the things that can be in it. If you don't want all those things, you can get it for a whole lot less. You could get it for half that price. Anyway, Be uh, Beverly Bayless, you do great video, Rusty. I watch them all. Thank you. MJ, here's my opinion on the refurbished. You do need a stabilizer. Okay, this is MJ's opinion. <clears throat> Some may not be bothered by the shaky videos, but think about it. Nobody is bothered by a stable video. Anything less is just stubbornness. Remember that sometimes electronics just don't work. You've got a bum device for sure. Get another one and don't forget to use the affiliate link. Oh, wait. I can't use the affiliate link, and I'm not going to fool with a stabilizer for a while unless I run across one at a price I can afford, which is under 100 bucks, and the, every one that I've looked at under 100 bucks is garbage. Okay? The only reason I got the one I got for 70 bucks is because it used to sell for $300 three years ago, and I thought, well, if they got a refurbished one and it was working okay, maybe I would get a better product for a lower price, and I didn't. Sarah J on the new RV part, very cool, Rusty. G55 on the uh, Dometic CF18. So, Rusty, how did your trip go and how did the fridge freezer work out on your trip? Did it hold enough food supplies for the days you were away? Any, any mate? Anyway, mate, great video and thanks for posting. Don't forget to give us an update. Thanks again. You're very welcome. Uh, yeah, the CF, Dometic CF-18 works great. You know, right now in the RV park, see, I've got both refrigerators. I've got the Dometic CF-18, and then I've got my little 110 refrigerator. So I've got more space than I need. It's funny how you fill it up, though. Carl Schutz, Schutz C-H-U-S-T-Z, RV park. New site is nice, but I like your home base better. Yeah, I do, too. In fact, when I get back to my home base, I'm going to put a concrete slab under the cover and fix it all up and go uh, uh i'm gonna go to some texas rv parks in the fall and winter yeah i am just for the hell of it uh lynn burt rossner watch out ladies and gentlemen of the mama bear rv park rusty's in the area roaming the corral through through the gate to the post office is a night nice touch it really is i like that you know they put the mail out about 12 30. so i'll just kind of walk over after lunch and check my mail <laughs> I love it. Uh, TT Boy 2004, I missed the chickens already. Yeah, that's kind of, that was a nice touch. I, I kind of enjoyed the flavor of that too. Yeah, and the view was great and all. Yeah, it was a lot of, there were a whole lot of pluses, but you know, it was two, it was, it was $65 a month more than this place. The water stunk and uh, it was a little dusty because they don't have enough gravel on their roads. And whenever the wind picks up, and it does blow quite a bit out here. <clears throat> you, you get a lot of dust but it's okay it's all it's over with now that's in the past let's live in the let's live today and go forward okay but anyway having said that uh hey google tell us a joke why is peter pan always flying because he can never never land hey google how far is it to my home base 
Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. <laughs> he doesn't know what home base means, what it is. Hey, Google, how far is it to Burnett, Texas? You are 534 miles away from Burnett by car. How, how else would I get there? <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, 534 miles is what not bad, and I like that because when I get ready to go back to my home base, probably be uh, either September or October <clears throat> when it starts to cool down a little bit. I mean, that's my plan now. Could that change? Sure, it can change like this, you know. But having said that, guys, from Capitan, New Mexico, and Mama Bear RV Park, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye. Buy anything your little heart desires, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of my video. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a dime. And uh, anyway, it helps a little bit. <clears throat> Some of you have used the link, and I appreciate it very much. And uh, for those of the, you that are and do, I do appreciate it because it helps. Yeah, hell yeah, it does. And what else? Uh, drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water. What else? Uh, <clears throat> breathe in deeply. Hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Sure it is. Everybody knows that. And then stretch, stretch, stretch. Walk, walk, walk. You know, get your, you know, move your body. <clears throat> You'll feel better. I'll do that after I have my breakfast and then what else? I'll, yeah, I'll walk for about an hour. It's a neat little place to walk, man. I may do a video, may not. Uh, but I'll do something today. <clears throat> you can count on that. And what else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. It's yours, okay? You know, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. You know, try to stay positive. And the way you stay positive is eliminate the negative. You know, like that, for example, that gimbal. Okay, yeah, I could have fought with it for, for two or three days. Why should I? You know what I mean? You, you do all these things, you still got a piece of junk. Okay? So anyway, just eliminate it. Eliminate it. Gone, gone, gone. Out. Just like... When I go through my comments, if there's a negative Nancy or a negative Ned there that's throwing a lot of trash out there, out you go, babe. You know, I call, I call it weed in the garden. I go right down them every day. And there's always a few, <clears throat> not many. Maybe two or three out of 200. And, uh, yeah, just always somebody, you know, throwing out the F-bomb and crap like that. Well, you know, guys, adios. So, anyway, guys, from uh, Capitan, New Mexico, right now a comfortable day. It's high today. It's supposed to be about 80 uh, humidity will probably <clears throat> be about 10%, which is not bad. Anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye. Bye anything he wants. <laughs>